Before we start our work examples for time dilation and length contraction, let us spin our formula in the lower part of this video. First, to compute for time difference, our formula is delta t is equal to t sub 0 over the Lorentz factor, while for length contraction, our formula is L is equal to L sub 0 multiplied by the Lorentz factor. Let us have example number 1. Suppose a traveler traveled the space at 95% of the speed of light. How much time did his twin observe on Earth if upon returning, the traveler measured the journey time to be 10 years based on his clock? As always, the first thing we need to do is to identify what is asked in this. Here, we are looking for the relative time observed by the traveler's twin on Earth. Next, the given in the problem are the proper time, which is 10 years, and the speed of the traveler measured at 95% the speed of light, or simply 0.95c. Since this is a time dilation problem, we will use the first equation. Then, let us substitute now the given units. Delta t is equal to 10 years over square root of 1 minus 0.95c squared, our given velocity, over c squared. If you are using a scientific calculator now, we can easily input these values and we will get the answer immediately. Or, we can perform the operations first in the denominator before we divide it from the numerator, which is 10 years. Here, our denominator is 0 0.312. And when we divide this from the numerator, 10 years, our final answer would be 32 years. This means that his twin brother on Earth has waited for him for 32 years, while the traveler in space counted only 10 years. Let us have another example. A person in a moving train waves to a bystander. If the waving action lasts 3 seconds as measured by the bystander and 2.2 seconds as measured by the person inside the train, how fast is a train moving? Express the speed in terms of the speed of light c. First, we can identify what is asked as the speed of the train v. Then, we list down our given. Delta t is 3.0 seconds and delta t sub 0 is 2.2 seconds. We are looking for v and this formula can be algebraically manipulated as v is equal to square root of c square times 1 minus delta t sub 0 square over delta t square. From our formula, we substitute the values. So, v is equal to square root of c squared multiplied by 1 minus 2.2 squared over 3.0 squared. Now, since the problem asks to express the speed in terms of speed of light, we may not substitute the C constant value. Our focus would be this, which is equivalent to 0 0.462. We have to get their square roots. The square root of C squared is C, and the square root of 0 0.462 is 0 0.68. Then, the velocity of the train is 0 0.68 c or 68% of the speed of light. Now, let us have some length contraction problems. Here, it says our rocket is observed by a person on Earth. What is the length of the rocket as observed by the astronaut inside? If the observer on Earth sees that the rocket is 5.5 meter long, and it zooms on speed of 75% that of the speed of light. What is asked in the problem is the proper length, which we represent as B letter L sub 0 of the rocket observed by the astronaut inside it. Next, the relative length and the speed of the traveler as measured by the percentage of the speed of light are given. From our original formula, L is equal to L sub 0 multiplied by Lorentz constant. We can manipulate this as L sub 0 is equal to L over square root of 1 minus V squared over C squared. We then substitute the given. Our relative length is 5.5 meters over square root of 1 minus 0 0.95 C squared 
over c squared. We can cancel the c squared in numerator and denominator. But careful that what remains is 0 0.95 squared and not 0 0.95 only. Our denominator will be square root of 1 minus 0 0.95 squared, which is equivalent to 0 0.31. We divide this to our numerator, 5.5 meters, and our final answer would be 17.6 meters. This suggests that even though this rocket ship is 17.6 meters as measured by the astronaut inside it, it appears to be contracted and small for an observer seeing it in relativistic speeds. For the last example in this video, we have the length of a rocket as observed by the astronaut inside it is 20.1 meters. If the rocket travels in a speed of 95% that of speed of light, how big is a rocket as observed by someone on Earth? In this question, we are asked to calculate for the size or length of the rocket as seen on Earth. The proper length and the speed of the traveler as measured by the percentage of the speed of light are given. We can use our original formula, L is equal to L sub 0 multiplied by square root of 1 minus V square over C squared. Now, we will substitute the values in the equation 20.1 meters multiplied by square root of 1 minus 0 0.95 C squared over c squared. We can cancel the c squared and leaves us 1 minus 0 0.95 squared inside the radical sign, which is equivalent to 0 0.0975. We will get the square root of this value as indicated in our operations, and we will get 0 0.312. Finally, we will multiply this value to 20.1 meters, and the final answer would be 6.28 meters. We can conclude from this equation that the rocket is only 6.28 meters long as seen by someone on Earth. Those are just some of problems relating to time dilation and length contraction as consequences of a special theory of relativity. Shall there be concepts that confuse you? Do not hesitate to comment in this video or we can start a discussion in BBL, so we can, all together, resolve those. I also have some drills uploaded in your BBL for you to practice on, to at least assess your understanding of this topic. The next topic is a general theory of relativity, which Einstein used to describe motions that cannot be explained by special theory. Once again, I am Gilmer DiCastro. And see you in the next video.